I cannot stress enough how much moving to numberless meter sticks has deepened my second graders' understanding of mathematics and their ability to be flexible with number and really make sense of the relationships between their uh, numbers. So let me share how I made them and give you a chance just to look at it a second. So let me just go like this and take a closer look. Basically, I just took the meter stick and I painted it so that every 10 centimeters is a different color. And I went back and forth between two colors. The colors really don't matter, although you want to make sure that someone who's colorblind can see the shade difference between the two colors. And that's really all it was. Whoops. But I've been asked a lot how I made them. So I've tried it with duct tape and uh, lots of other things. And what I've landed on was this. My meter sticks had inches on the other side. And I prefer to use yard sticks when I'm using feet and inches than use a meter stick and say we're measuring inches. So I took all of my centimeter, my meter sticks, and on the side that had been inches, I used one coat of my light color on the whole meter stick, and I put two layers. It was like a primer. And I went to my local Sherwin-Williams, and they actually donated to me one of those um, sample size cans, the little pint cans, and that was all I needed for, I think I did uh, 76 meter sticks. I can't remember exactly the number, but enough for, uh, maybe it was 80, four classes, three classes. It was a lot of sticks. So uh, I painted that over everything. I didn't have to measure or really think too hard. I just painted. Some students even helped me. And then I put two, you can try this lots of different ways, but what was easiest for me was putting two other meter sticks on each side so that I could use those and made sure that they were really lined up well on the ends. And then I would score every 10 centimeters. And then I used a, another paint to paint those alternate uh, sets. When that dried, I again came back, left the two meter sticks next to each other, and then I used a ruler as a straight edge, which of course I can't find now, so we'll use anything as a straight edge. I would just put something up next to it and uh, score it. In this case, you'll see I scored it with pen. I've tried it with a couple of different things, and you might find better luck with uh, maybe micron uh, pens. You want something that's going to be permanent but very thin. So micron pens, I think next time is what I would go with. And then, because what I the pen worked out great, except then I tried to ha mo um, use hodgepodge, Mod Podge, sorry, Mod Podge over it to seal it, and the Mod Podge um, it made the pen bleed a little. You see, which I don't really mind, and my students have not had trouble with. But if I went and started over, I would use the Micron Sharpies so that they're very thin tip, but that they're uh, not water-based, they're oil-based, and so they sh wouldn't spread. It has to be ultra-fine, though, to try and really um, make it work. Some of the reasons that I've done this was that I had some fourth graders that were using a meter stick like this to do a sample word problem, and they cut a piece of string that was about this long, and they told me that that was 87 centimeters, and I was like, hmm, wonder why. Well, they found the 87, and they cut to the other end. So by using a numberless meter stick, it really helps them focus on distance. It helps them focus on their use of counting either by ones or tens, or as you measure longer distances, you literally count by hundreds when you count by meters and combine them. 
So the students really get to work back and forth with those ideas, and we can always turn them over and see the uh, the marked and uh, recorded numerals if we needed to.